Hi guys, welcome to Our Empire. So today we have uh, our very first guest, Regina. Hi. So we want to talk about, um, we were looking at a lot of videos online about gender issues. Men are trash, specifically. Oh, yeah. So we wanted to... Uh, and men are trash, by the way. So we're going to get into it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, one of the questions or one of the comments that stood out is, why do guys act stupid when they know exactly what they do to piss women off? So Because they're just stupid like that. For generations and generations, society has made it acceptable for men to act the way they do. And we're tired of it, ladies. We're just tired of it. We just need them to own up to it and try to change the way that they act because it's unacceptable. They wouldn't like it if we become trash too, would they? Right. No, 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 they wouldn't. So, so. What do you got? <laughs> if a significant other approaches you with something, do you act stupid or act dumb, or do you really be lost? For example, okay, thank like you. when when men be like, I don't understand why she naps so much. I'm just like, why can't she just speak to me directly so I can understand what she's saying? But the thing is, with us women. We just expect you to like to know certain things. Like we don't, we're not your mothers to tell you to do this exactly by this step. And sometimes we get moody. Sometimes we feel a certain way. Sometimes we don't want to talk, and you just have to accept that that's okay. That's how we are as women. Yeah, that's fair enough. You want to add anything? <laughs> no, I mean like, yeah, I mean she's. Yeah, this, what this, this, this is a topic for them. So okay, yeah. you know what? Let's let's talk about. I think like, the spotlight needs to be on them. Yeah. More. I was gonna say, let's talk about men and cheating, and why you know why why is it is it acceptable for men to cheat mm -hmm. in our society? Yeah. All right, so and why is it that when a woman sure. does it, it's something that's like not accepted, or it's something then she's she shamed for doing it? Out. Yeah. yeah. So why is it so? Why is it more acceptable for men to do it? What do you guys think? So, that's a very so yeah, we're talking about like cheat culture, right? Yeah, yeah it is. So let me ask you, um, what do you think about it? Like, what do you think about cheating? And what do you think about cheating? What's the definition? Because we've been talking about that. Like, right. uh, everybody like seems to have their own definition of exactly. cheating. I always thought cheating was like a sexual thing, like you know, until. Uh, you, so you have to have sex with someone. That's what I. Cheating. That's what I always thought. Okay. Yeah, and. But today, exactly. <laughs> what do you think is cheating, Zach? So I think that uh, cheating can incorporate like emotional ties. Like think about this: like if someone cheats on you, and if your response is, "Do you love him, or do you have feelings for him, or do you love her? You got feelings for her? that? That's more of the concern because the reason that person is probably posing that question to the significant other is because. They're giving you a chance to, because they're gonna probably more than likely take you back. If it's if it's just strictly like, oh, I'm done with this person. I'm, you know, they're not, they don't care. But if you specifically asking about the emotional tie, like, do you love this person? You got feelings for this person? Like, that's gonna crush them. That's gonna, and if they say yes, I do have feelings, then that's that's like the straw that broke the camel's back, and they can just like, okay, that's the closure I needed. I guess I gotta pick up the pieces from here. So, so you feel like if you create some kind of emotional connection with someone else besides your significant other, that means, yes. and then and then physical it, or just emotional, and that I mean, it's cheating. Well, uh, emotional. Right. It, it it's going to be even more. You know, like I think a lot of guys do. Like MJ said, like you know, we think like, oh, if it's just intercourse, if it's just. Um, some type of you know interaction like that, then it's cheating. But to me, cheating is later. Like you could be cheating without having sex with somebody. Then why the most? Then why do most guys say when they when it comes to cheating, they go, um, "I was just weak. It was a weak moment for me. It's just sex. There's nothing more to it." Why do they say that? I, if I, if emotional is is well, I can't speak for all men. Yeah, MJ can't speak for all men. Like you, you both of you can't speak for all women. But I think a lot of times we kind of. You know, we have our personal feelings and experiences, and we kind of attach that to whatever the conversation or is 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 being taken place. But like, I know I'm not the only man out there. We I just had we had a conversation before we started this with another gentleman. That, you know, that said something similar. So I know I'm not the only guy out there that would think like cheating is not just the sexual aspect. It's it's also could emotional. be yeah, it could be emotional and have feelings and things like that. I think my definition my definition of cheating is it's not just like that eye contact or that like you know 
admiring another woman i think it's it's when you start to have like sexual intentions toward that woman and take the first step of like it's not even just the intention but taking the first step towards that like coming to you knowing that i am sexually attracted to you coming i think well you actually have sex with someone in a sexual level that's when it's like basically you valid vi violated um your partner's um earlier you said like if you already know that there's something is electric and then something happens, you already kind of cheated because why would you put yourself in yeah, the same like, room with that person? You, alone? Yeah, when you take like, that when you take that first step towards the intentions that you had in your mind, and then you violated your 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 connection, your bond with the, with your partner because you went and you know had not only sexual connection with that person but also like um, emotional connection with that person. To me, because I've experienced cheating. Um, it, it it damages your partner and so many even if you didn't have sex with that person but to know that your partner has some kind of sexual attraction to another person it makes you insecure about yourself and it makes you look at yourself like hey maybe there's something wrong with me maybe i'm not good enough maybe i'm my physique is not yeah you know good enough point, you know? exactly even if that other person doesn't even like even you, even if you look way better than that person, we all yep, say you're that. You're still gonna feel we'll all and say what is wrong with yep. me. You know, are the eyebrows more on point than mine. You know, you you, you pick out like you the look at the the literal thing, yep. like literally, you just sit there and you put it all on yourself. It's a difference, men, to like admiring another woman's beauty and kind of like um, going crossing the line and having like sexual uh, relation or not sexual sexual intentions towards that person. And if your woman sees that, you're damaging her more because she's looking at it. She's not looking at it it's like, oh, damn, she's beautiful. He's admiring her beauty. She's looking at it like now he took, not only is she beautiful, but he took that step to actually approach her and have sex with her or talk to her, or have some kind of emotional attachment. So she must be better than me. So you start to personalize it and internalize it. And then you, you, you become insecure and weak. And so that's why it's damaging to have that, like, you know, to cheat on someone that you truly love and that's why it's hard for you to build another relationship or to build your relationship or to grow after cheating because you have all these damages that that person did that you did to that person but then they did that to themselves from what the actions that you did to them and so it's going to take like if you cheat on someone it's going to take a lot more for them to gain that confidence back and it's something that they have to work on individually so that's why that's my version of like Cheating, I guess. My definition of cheating is like almost what all of you guys. At first, I thought that if if um, you go and have sex with somebody else, um, you know, and that's that was that's it. That's that's what cheating was. But like for me, if I see my partner um, spending more time with somebody else, you know, outside of the relationship, and even with me knowing, like it irritates me because I'm like, damn, like. We spend time every day, like not why you be want, you know, what is she like offering you that that, that I'm not, I can't offer. <laughs> that I can't offer that I'm not offering you. So it, it like cheating, like you don't only have to have sex with that per sex with that person. Going on dates with somebody else that that's not me. Um. <laughs> so let me ask you a question: Is it like so much of like anyone else, or is it a woman that you know have sexual intentions towards Ooh. him? Or someone that's attracted to him, or someone that likes him, that you know, because as women, we can kind of pick up on like if a woman is feeling our man because yeah. we're women, we know how it is. Yeah. So, is it a woman that you notice that you know that has some kind of vicious intention towards your relationship, yeah, and also might that's like a, your man, a yes, and that I know that for a fact that if this behavior keeps going, that they will end it's up gonna not even something. if not even my partner that woman would end up you know start throwing shots and yeah you know, shooting like, for her shot like you know shooting maybe like it's like he's kind of she's trying to get in and he's kind of opening cracking the door for yes. her by spending more time with her by um going out to places with her with you not being there that's texting like, so all the time giving her that time. vibe that hey listen you know there's a chance here just just keep keep pushing for me that's what it, for me, that's what it is like <laughs> see th that's what i yeah. really think the, my definition of cheating is is if right. you yeah. are yeah. communicating yeah. with somebody on a day-to-day -day basis or even like once or twice a week you're opening that door like you literally it's like he's kind of she's trying to get in and he's kind of opening cracking the door for yes. her by spending more time with her 
by um, going out to places with her with you not being there. That's her team all the time, giving her that vibe that hey, listen, you know, there's a chance here. Just just keep keep pushing. <laughs> for me, that's what it, for me that's what it is. Like, see, th that's what I really think. The, my definition of cheating is is if you are communicating with somebody on a day to day basis or even like once or twice a week, you're opening that door. Like you're literally saying, hey, yeah. you know what? I know you know that I have a girl, but like. The door is wide open. Like you are yeah. welcome anytime. And that's the thing, money. guys. Take notes, because if your woman tells you, I don't want you around her, it's for a reason. It's not just oh, like she's picking up the vibe. Yeah, there's a vibe there that she's getting. Like, hey, listen, this woman is a threat to my relationship because I could see, you know, the way she looks at you. I could see that okay. there's more intentions yeah. behind it than just friendship. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Can you pick up yeah, the same vibe when it comes to guys? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I mean like yeah. <laughs> It's like ninety uh, percent like of them. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like do you, do you believe that we 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 like we know how to like um kind of turn down shots from guys to where we don't feel we don't we make sure that we don't make our men feel insecure or some or like just threatened by this man but i feel like when it comes to men they don't know how to do that i don't know if it's because they're blind to it well, or is it because like, they see it like oh you're a woman so you're just being dramatic <laughs> like remember when we went to that fashion thing yeah remember how many people were coming at us like and we were just like nope no nope, yeah no nope, yeah. nope. and then we decided to have a whole group to go out with our female friends like yeah and what we were like we were dancing hour, together we were dancing together yep. we had an opportunity like to go do whatever we wanted yep. But we're like, nope, no. Nope. That's to bring another topic. It's like when when you see a group of women dressed up nicely, short, whatever, and they're over there dancing, and a man comes and approach. It's like I feel like automatically men think, oh, they're women, they're together, so they must be single. I'm gonna go shoot my shot, or she's dressed up like that because she must want it. So I'm gonna go shoot my shot. Well, what do you think, Nadifa? Do you think it's true when all of us dress up and go to the club or go, you know, dance or whatever? Do you think it's because we want men's attention? Heck no. We we probably because for in our case we were stressed out because of school. Yeah. We were stressed out and we're like, man, all of us were college students. You know, we're like, man, we are. We're gonna go and have fun. And like I said, we had so much opportunity. We had a lot of guys that were like literally there offering us rides. Right. Food. We could have went with them, but we're like, they you know thought what? we were single. We we were <laughs> what do you guys think when you see a group of women out just together, dressed up nicely? What do you think? Do you think automatically in your mind, oh, she's single, she wants it, or what? What? What is it? Do you I mean, I mean, yeah. I can't again. I, I can't speak for all guys, but like, what do you go ahead, bro? Take it. Um, man, it, it actually would have to depend. Like, if you're single and you go to a club, and you know there seems to be like a few a few women that are just you know there and having a good time like they'll they'll signal you if they're interested so what if she's wearing booty shorts what if I, mean, she's, I don't think it matters that, that doesn't give you the permission to go <laughs> yeah. grab a chunk of booty oh, like, <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> <laughs> hey come on girl hey, you know what you said the story about <laughs> your friend okay, listen, so listen, i have a friend of mine so we were out <laughs> dancing right and so I was with two other friends. One was wearing booty shorts, like her butt was showing and everything. And it's because she works out so much at the gym and she started, she lost a lot of weight and she started to look really good. So she felt confident. She wants to show it off. Not because she wants men attention. And as we were dancing and this guy came up to her, was like, you know, trying to shoot his shot. Um, she blocked it by giving him sign language or whatnot. Like I don't speak, I don't know how to speak or whatever. So anyways, we ended, we ended up going out to eat afterwards. We ran into the same guys and he came to her and started talking to us. And basically he was just saying that, you know, like you're dressed up like that. So you must want it. That's why I was shooting my shot, you know, and basically trying to make it seem like, you know, if you're dressed up like that, that means you want it. But guys, let me tell you guys a secret. That's not the case. If I'm dressed up like this and I'm out, it's not because I want that attention for a man. It's not because I want you to come and grab my ass. It's not because I want to go home with you at the end of the night. I have a virgin friend that likes to do that too. She dress, dress up very provocatively. And it's because she likes her body. She's confident in her body and she wants to show it off. But it's not because she wants anything from anyone. So I feel like the idea or the perspective of like, oh, women dress up short in shorts or women showing their body means like, their hoes. That's that's not the case. Okay. So like um, you know, there's a comedian. I forget which one said it, but he said um, 
if he's on a street in a dark alley and he's getting mugged and someone walks past with a police officer uniform on, he's, officer, officer, help, and it's just someone dressed up for Halloween, he's saying that the person has the uniform. So they um, must the be profession. a police, yeah. So then tying like that to like, that. so like, so if someone is dressed, this is a comedian saying this, not what I'm saying, I believe in, but this was his comparison if a woman is dressed up provocative she's wearing the uniform yeah. of hey i'm advertising are you picking up on what i'm marketing you know like in <laughs> you know so bottom I'm, line I'm like, is and that's not you know like you said that doesn't mean that the girl that's what she wants i was gonna right. say bottom line is it's the 21st century just because she's showing off her body does not mean that she wants it and i think we should try to look at things from different perspective and before we judge a book by its cover we need to like sit down and have conversations so let's say you're an event uh, with your significant other and a woman that does not like your woman very much comes up to you and start talking to your significant other and he's standing right there and he says hey listen this is my wife just to kind of you know push her away or to let her know that i'm taken um, do you think women take it as, as disrespectful? Or do you think they take it more as like, you know, he's weak for that woman? And I know that in our African culture, mm-hmm. that's seen as like weakness, weakness in a man. Yeah. It's seen Wait, like, So maybe that's why a lot of men don't do that. Yeah. Yep, so if, right. if a man says, if he, uh, you know, makes the proclamation, this is my wife, this is my woman, it's, it's a if sign of If you don't weakness. talk to another woman while she's there and, and you do things the right way to keep her happy, this then it's true. seen like a little bit of a weakness. I don't know about you guys, but... And our Sudanese, because I hear that so much, and I see that so much as like, if a man does what his wife or girl does, then it's seen as weakness that he's weak uh-huh. for her, he's being controlled by her, she's yeah. controlling him. They, or if they're well, together all the time, they, it's always seen like that. Too. Okay, so that's that's in that's Sudanese. So then in Sudan, so what about in Cameroon? Like, it's almost yeah, it's almost it's like that. Even like in events, in yeah. events, yeah. don't you see like women st- yeah. sitting in one side and men sitting yeah, on one side? Like, say, like in, when we go to most Sudanese in Chad, you know, we don't even sit together. Yeah, the men sit on one side of the woman. But if you're that one woman that always sits with your yeah. husband, yeah, they're like, what's going on? They're so then it makes you look like that. the men, because yeah. you got this woman sitting yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Well, what are you doing? What the so that's not the same. You did not you know, know that. It, no. It's not. Well, you're oh. European, so <laughs> yeah. I know you guys. Well, I mean, it's huge. Like, let's here's the thing. Like, the, the, there's there's a, a huge difference between like a woman controlling him and like you know. So, what would you define as a woman controlling a man then? I'd say like if if they fight a lot, like you know, over stuff like like that, like. Her not being able to sit right next to him if they fight a lot about that kind of stuff, and or like money wise or you know st- stuff that just sounds like. I was like gonna say like if you're with it, how, what would you define as like a, a woman controlling a man? Or do you think is there even such thing as a woman controlling a man? <laughs> I feel like what people other people view as women controlling men is when a man is like so like not I don't want to say obedient but like is doing everything to make that woman happy and other people see it. And so they're like, oh, she's controlling him because oh, yeah. he's, he's going out of yeah. his way Damn. to make sure, you know, if they're together at events, uh, she's there. There's a and word for it. Yeah. You can't say it's <laughs> what? what is the word for it? Oh. Something whipped. Oh. <laughs> Can we see? I'll cry. No. Like, <laughs> what did you say? Whipped. whipped. Yeah, exactly. But you, right? have you heard that before? Yeah. yeah. But I guess maybe in the American culture it could be, but I know in our African culture it's not. It's not so much a whip, it's just being a good wife, you know, or being a good woman. Yeah. It means like you're following whatever that man is saying. But if, it, if the man is doing like everything to make you happy and listening to what you're doing, all of a sudden it's like, why is he like yeah, that? Why is he like that? So, so I'm glad I'm not in that, in that environment. Mm-hmm. It's like right. men, in my environment, you are like where I came from, men are looked down as weak if they're not doing what they're supposed to do to keep their wife happy. Oh, but my mom, my, my dad's side, heck yeah, that's hella weak. Like, you, you know, like, for like, before you marry her, you're supposed to do all this stuff, like buy her dukan and all this, you know, clothes and stuff like that. But then after that, like, forget, you know, it's, it's done. The dowry, you spend so much money on her. And that's the But thing. after that, it's. She's really? basically your own. Yeah, I don't know. What are you going to do? Like, buy her flowers? No, like, that's. That's, that's it. You no. got her. You're you got her. And I was just like, forever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and with my mom, my mom's side, nah, nah, this is, 
you know, they don't want you to spend nothing on her anyways. Like, they want you guys to be in a relationship, get married because you guys love each other and stuff like that because they're expecting you to keep her happy or you guys keep each other happy for, like, the rest of their life, you know, until you guys die, basically. So, like, it's, I'm testing both different <laughs> cultures from... So, so, leaving from that, I guess, um, is can both people be with, both sides be with? I mean... I, I, my so personal perspective. My personal perspective on it. I don't even want to like uh, say that someone is whipped. I, I feel like yeah. if both parties are happy and they're doing everything to make each other happy, that's the way life should be. I don't right. even want to like define it on anything. But there's people that can. They see it like there's people that see it like if the man is doing everything for the woman and she's. I mean. Maybe like borderline, there's people that kind of take advantage of it and and they abuse the other person because they're doing, they're going out of their way to do everything to make that person happy, and that's where I could say like, oh yeah, she's she's whipped, or mm -hmm. oh yeah, he's whipped right. because you know they're giving so, it their all and the other person right. is not giving it their all. But so so the difference between whipped and control is whipped is when you go out of your ways to make somebody happy, and control because is you're when, happy yourself. Right. Would we agree or no? Mm -hmm. And control is when, when I suppose everybody's my, the person is monitoring every move that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not only monitoring, but that it's person is giving you more you, uh, than you're giving that person. Okay. You have control over that person. Okay. So the con the controlling aspect is almost like the, your significant other is almost like a servant to you. It's like servitude. Yeah. Whereas whip is like you know. That's very. They common. got that whip appeal. Like they, it makes you want to like yeah. you treat them like royalty. Yeah. They treat you like royalty, and you have to. You know what? If there's any South Sudanese men that are gonna watch this video, I want you guys to know that it's just because you guys get married with downry, it doesn't mean that you need to mistreat that woman and treat her like uh, an object. I hate that about my uh, culture and background. That there's so it's 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 a men it's a men men dominated culture where you know once you get married and you get down repaid over you then you are an object and that's something that's not acceptable. So I hope you guys watch this video and learn something. Yeah. Well so the difference is in the double double standards of genders having multiple partners um, when it's seen like a man is um, sleeping around. He gets like the cool points. Oh man, you a playboy, you this, that, and other. And then if women do it, then they're looked at, they get these derogative names and all that stuff. So let's. What is your, what is your perspective, you men perspective on it? If a woman cheat or if a man cheat, is it okay? Is it more okay for a man to cheat or is it more okay for a woman to cheat or is it not okay at all? What do you guys think? Mm, yeah, I definitely disagree with anybody that cheats. I don't think cheating is, is okay at all in a relationship. Uh, if, if you're not feeling the relationship, just sit that person down and be mature about it and just end it. Talk it out. Yeah, talk why, it out. Why even be in relationships at all? If you want to sleep around, have multiple partners, just be single, be a exactly. bachelor, be a bachelorette, whatever, and just do your thing. But like when you start to involve be someone else. Be the best else, single person you can be, or be, and, live it up as a single man, then, live it up as then, a single there wouldn't be a such thing as cheating. In, in, this, in this country, like, you know, I, I think, more and more relationships are turning into seasonal, like couple season. <laughs> yeah. I agree it's with so, you. It's, it's one season. You know There's what I'm saying? There's no good men out there. Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> But they, also, they do be like, oh man, it's getting close to the holiday. Right, right exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that then movie? spring spring break comes comes mm -hmm. along. Spring, and spring, spring, you know, I need a cuddle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even these terminologies. Yeah. Let me throw it out the window. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but even like the terminology, summer love, spring fling. Yeah. You know, uh, right. A booth for the holidays, like I've right, right. never heard that. Booth for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> I need oh, yeah. a booth for the holidays. <laughs> Some a baby you can travel with, you know. Right.